We're in Internet Information Services on a 2019 server, and if you need to, you can check out how to set up IIS on the, the uh, server in this playlist. If you're already to the point you've got it installed, then we can go to this next step. And that is sometimes when you make a change to a server, such as maybe you change the authentication or you maybe change the bindings to the ports, sometimes you'll need to restart the web, the web server, uh, sometimes just the website itself. So let's look at the different ways we can restart services for Internet Information Server. So in the default website, if I make just a little change, and it's just to see a single website, all I have to do is go to the default website, right click on it, choose Manage Website, and choose Restart, or Stop and Start, either one. I'll click Restart. Now you don't actually see it restart, but it happens so quickly that you know really doesn't matter. You don't need to see a, a travel bar to tell you how long it's going. What we can do is we can go down to the Start button, and we can right click and either choose the Command Prompt for the admin, or PowerShell, either one. And we can type a command called IIS reset. So what this does is it restarts a whole bunch of services that are all dependent on each other. And this will restart all of the different websites in the web server. So if you need to do more than just one web server because you made a major change, then IIS reset is the way to go. So while this is restarting, no one will have access to any of the websites that are in the web server. But as you can see, it doesn't take long to restart it. Another thing we can do is we can go to application pools. Sometimes restarting services isn't enough because it doesn't restart the application pool. So if you have certain things that don't work that should be working, you can go into these individual pools, such as if you're using .NET 4.5 or if you're using the default pool, uh, you see this welcome uh, pool right here is related to this welcome website here. So you can just right click and choose Recy recycle. That's the same as restarting. And again, it happens so quickly that you don't even see it happening. But it does fix a lot of issues that I've seen in the past when just restarting the web services doesn't work. And the last thing I want to show you is I'd like to take you into server manager and tools and go down to services. And sometimes we just need to restart a single service, and that would be the World Wide Web service. Now, this is only going to be on servers that have Internet Information Services installed. So if we go down to the very last service, in most cases, we right-click, we choose Restart. It's only going to restart the web publishing service. And once that's done, hopefully one of those particular restart options will have fixed your problem.